Hello everyone, it is time for yet another update video and I do apologize that this is the only thing I've been posting on my channel lately. Uh, I know you probably are sick to death of seeing them and I'm sick to death of them being the only thing I do anymore. Um, but suffice it to say there's some important news to announce, uh, some of it good and some of it not so good. And I think this time I'll get the bad news straight out of the way. And wouldn't you know it, it's about YouTube again. Really, aren't you surprised about that? I sure am, because I just thought it couldn't get any worse. But guess what? It does. Oh, it does. Now, it isn't anything to do with what I've been posting or anything like that. What it is is regarding the comment system. Yeah, see, for a while there, after all this Google Plus horseshit, it seemed to be that the only way I could reply to anybody's comments was that I would have to create a new comment and then address it to an individual and hope that in doing so, they get that comment. Now, I don't know if that even worked because I never got any correspondence back from a reply that I had sent anyone, so I have no clue. But that's irrelevant now because now I can't comment on anything. Really, nothing. Because anytime I open up any comment box anywhere, all it says is opening. And it sits there with those gray letters staring me in the face until I give up and close the window. So I don't know if this is a glitch on my part or their part or whatever. But I know I haven't encountered this issue really before all these changes started happening. It's only been since YouTube in all their wisdom have decided screwing with their website to make it so much better better than it used to be, right people? Isn't it? Isn't it? So guess what? Now I can't reply to anybody about anything. So you'll have to forgive me, but if you leave a comment on my video, I won't have any way, at least for the time being, of letting you know I even saw it. Except to say that, um, I will be checking up on my videos and I'll be looking at my email and making sure I've got comments and reading them. So with that assurance in mind, you'll have to forgive me that I can't actually say anything back to you. And this isn't just on my channel. This is anywhere on anybody's videos. I can't comment you on how good your work turned out or anything. I can't, I'm thinking, I can't even visit your main page and say something there. But until this issue gets resolved on whoever's side of the issue this is, I won't be able to say anything to you guys, so I'm sorry, but I guess I'm sort of incommunicado for quite a while, it seems. But like I said, it isn't all about the stupid things and the bad news. Today I have some very good news, and I will start by talking about a little bit of what I got with some of the gift cards I got for the holidays. Starting with what I bought with my Barnes & Noble gift card. The Hobbit Extended Edition, uh, the first movie. And I've already seen it, and all the additional scenes, extended stuff, and it is pretty good. It adds a bit of depth and some additional uh, conversation and stuff like that, which is nice. Not all of it is entirely necessary and or helps, but you know it's it's there. So uh, glad to have it, and I'll be looking forward to looking at all the additional like behind the scenes making of kind of stuff that they have in the other discs because this is the five disc version and I think they're coming out with like a two disc version which is just the longer movie or something but they had this and I decided you know I'd been wanting it for a while so what the heck and the only other thing I've picked up for myself thus far was at a local hobby shop and the gift card I had was only good for about 15 bucks 
I think that's probably the limit for whatever they can do. It's not a very big place, and their stock doesn't update very often. And that's why I decided to pick up this guy. The old high-grade Gundam Stray Red Frame. Now, for the longest time, I had been wanting some version of this form of the Astray. I was even considering looking at the perfect grade, because that is just such a cool-looking model. The design, the proportions, all the detail, the sword itself. Just a very, very cool model in general. But the price was a bit high, and uh, just didn't work out that I would have gotten it for the holidays either. So, anyway, when I saw this guy, I thought, you know what, I'd give him a try. And as you can see, it's relatively poseable, nicely detailed. Not the best of proportions, perhaps, but, you know, I'll take it. And I have a few design ideas in mind for what I'd like to do to this guy. I'm thinking what I'll probably do is matte finish all the black and the white and the gray and all that. And then what I'll do is I will chrome red all the internal frame business. And I think that'll look pretty good. Now, obviously, until the weather improves, I won't be able to pull this off, uh, which kind of sucks because I'm dying to tackle this project, actually. So in the meantime, uh, I was looking for stuff to do, and I thought maybe I'd try my real gray GP01. Well, I kind of thought that I had some ideas in mind of things I'd like to do that might involve a minor amount of airbrushing for a couple details. Well, obviously the weather's been so absolutely cooperative lately that I just found it impossible to go outside and do any airbrushing. So um, I've kind of had to put that project on hold for a little while. And instead, I found that I had something in my backlog that I was working on on and off for about a year or so now, and I decided I would pick this up again and start working on it. So let me show you what I mean. So as you can see here, I've been working on the high-grade Gundam Thrones Vi from Gundam Double L. And like I said, I've been having this kit sit around for maybe about a couple years or so. And I'd been working on it on and off, just doing a few things here, a few things there. Mostly as sort of a practice kit, more than anything. And where I left off until recently was I'd done the upper body, uh, including the shoulders, the head, and the torso, including a little bit of detail down there in the GN drive, done with some neon pink. Did that for the eyes, forehead camera, and the stripes there on the shoulders. Um, what you'll notice, however, probably more than anything else, is that the yellows and the internal frame are done up in some nice metallic colors. Now the yellow I did with uh, this color, a pearl copper from Createx. I just hand brushed all this detailing and stuff on there. And the bronze color for the inner frame was done with this uh, 171 Humbrol acrylic. I think it's some kind of antique bronze or something like that. Uh, they don't actually put names on their paint, which is incredibly convenient. But it's 171 of their acrylic line. And uh, you can sort of see what that internal frame color looks like. You'll have to forgive my white balance here, but it's sort of like this. It's sort of a pale, tan, beige color almost. And then, on more of a completed foot, it's this nice, shiny, coppery bronze color. And this paint, I will admit, is very tricky to use. Uh, it likes to pool up on bare plastic, and all you gotta do is keep stroking it and stroking it, and you can make a dirty, that's what she said joke if you want. But, um, anyway, after a while it settles down and, uh, Turns out looking pretty nice. I even did it for the hands, as you can sort of see there. So, um, 
it's coming along, and basically this is just some kit to practice my paintwork with. Um, nothing major, it's not turning out perfect, there's a lot of flaws and it's tricky business, but if nothing else, it should help uh, practice painting, hand painting, detailing, panel lining, all that kind of good stuff, so that when I work on anything more important, I won't be too rusty when I uh, eventually get to that point. So maybe at some point I'll show off a finished product of this guy, but it's just as likely that he may wind up in the box for another year till he's finished. But whatever happens, I'll keep you posted. And here's a quick look at how it appears under black light with all the little uh, neon pink touches I added to it on the eyes forehead camera and the shoulders and everything. I think it looks pretty good overall, I must say. Anyway, with that being under my belt now, um, I'll try to finish that and move on to the new stuff whenever the weather starts to improve. But that's not all I have in terms of news regarding me and Gunpla. No sir. If you're aware of the Gundam Info New Year competition lucky draw contest thing that they had, well, it turns out that when I got my Master Grade Sazubi version Ka for the holidays, it had one of those little lucky draw cards in there. So I decided I would go online and try my luck. What the hey? And long story short, I won a perfect grade GPO-1. Uh, and that is just dandy, because that is like the number one top favorite holy grail perfect grade model kit for me that I have been wanting since I first saw it. I think it's probably one of Van Dyke's finest accomplishments in perfect grade or any other grade. And I am just psyched to have it. I mean, I never win anything, pretty much. Uh, so this was just wild. And truth be told, there were a few other people amongst our YouTube Gunpla community who actually won some stuff. I remember Jordan at Double O Gundam Reviews won a GPO-3 Dendrobium, the high grade, the big one, and uh, Justin over at Justinius Builds won the entire real grade set. So I decided I'd try my hand on it and I won one of my most favorite kits ever. So it should be delivered around the middle of March, I think. So whenever it does get here, I will be sure to post a video about that. Maybe an unboxing. Uh, it's quite a lot to unbox, I'll say. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So yeah, um, maybe this is a sign that things will be turning around for me in the new year. One can only hope. It would start by YouTube getting its act together and, and knocking off all the horse shit, but... Uh, apart from that miracle being granted, I guess I'll take this GPO-1 as the boon that it is. So, anyway, I guess I've rambled on long enough, and uh, leave me a comment if you wish. Just remember, I won't be able to reply to it. And thank you all for watching. So until the next time, I'll catch you later, everybody.